Oh no, it happened to you. You recorded a video and it is on the side. Maybe you started in portrait mode and then rotated into landscape mode to film it like a real human being. Good thinking, but now you have to edit it. I'm going to show you how to easily rotate the video on a computer. We are going to use Shotcut for this. It's free and open source. You can get it from shotcut.org. The link is in the description of this video. You don't have to install it. You don't have to have admin rights to use it. So it's very good for small tasks. And here is our culprit, the video that is on the side. We're going to just drag it into Shotcut once it's opened into this source viewer. We're going to not convert it. I think it uh, suggests this because the height is very large. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable the timeline over here and drag the video from, from the source view to the timeline. Now, if you want, you can cut off the beginning. Let's see here. Uh, well, yeah, let me just hide the toolbar at the top and the title bar so we have more space. You can see this is in portrait mode and then it turns to landscape. So maybe you want to first cut off this part, but that is of course optional. But if you do, just uh, use this ruler here with a timeline at the top to navigate uh, this white line, which is the playhead. And once you're at the point where you want to start the video, press S or press this icon. Split at playhead. I'm going to press S on the keyboard. And I'm just going to right click this part on the left and remove it. And if you have some part on the end, which doesn't apply to this video, but let's, let's pretend at the end I, I looked into the camera. Then before I do that, I would move this uh, white playhead again. And again, press S or this time this icon. And then I would right click. Oop, let's make sure that it's selected. Left click first, right click, remove. All right. All right, so now let's do the actual rotation. So now we're going to enable the toolbars again and enable filters. Here we are on the left. I'm going to hide the uh, toolbar again so we have more space. So what we have to do here is we have to click on the clip and then it's selected. And then we press the plus sign. And here we need to add the rotate, rotate filter, which is in the video category. This is where you see this display icons. And if you don't see any icons, which happens to people sometimes, hopefully you can just hover with the mouse around until you see some kind of button and it shows show video filters when you leave the mouse for a while. I'm going to click the display and scroll down. It's alphabetical. So to R we, we go. Rotate is the, the filter we want to use. So I'm just going to click it while this is uh, selected, highlighted with a red border. Rotate. And now we have a few options in here. We can actually extend, yeah, this way we can better see. And all we need here is uh, scale and rotation. You can freely play around. In my case, I need 270 degrees. In other cases, uh, 90 degrees would be appropriate. Just enter the number so you have a precise rotation. All right, so, but now it doesn't fill the screen. So you would have huge black borders. I don't quite understand why actually it got scaled to the size of the frame, but that's, that's okay. We're just going to fix it by using the scale parameter. We can use it manually. If you want to cut off some border, you can do so as well. The ideal number, I think, is 177.8. But I think there might be like one pixel of border, so I prefer to go for 178%. 178. Then a little tiny bit gets cut off at the corner, at the border, possibly. But it's a bit, I think it's a safer bet. So once that is done, if you have a lot of videos like that, you can actually save this as a preset. You can just press plus and call this uh, rotate 270. And then we can just use it from here. We can go back to the faults, use the rotate. And you might want to do the same. Yeah, let's actually do another one for uh, rotate 90 on the head, on the floor, on the head, on the feet. Right, now that this is done, let's enable the toolbar again. Now we want the export section. Let's click export and hide the toolbar again. I'm going to actually hide the uh, timeline as well. Just go to view timeline. So now let's export this. 
the default preset is actually good. It identifies the settings of a video. And we have a proper resolution. You can just go with this. If you're fine with that, just press down here. Press export file. Uh, let me just enable the timeline. Uh, because sometimes on YouTube you don't see the buttons at the very bottom. So here, export file. Press this button. And give it a name with a .mp4 file ending. A rotated, for example. Press save. And it will start encoding, exporting, some people call it uploading, downloading. And here is a progress bar. You have to wait until this finishes. You will be able to see the video file here, but it's... Uh, oh yeah, actually it, it has size. It size is growing slowly. But you need to wait until this finishes before you can actually check it out and before you can sh uh, shut down Shotcut. It's a very short video, so it's rather quickly. And here it is. All horizontal in all its glory. So I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel and have fun with Shotcut and uh, editing your videos. Ciao!